The following question reads that silver chloride, which is AgCl, dissolves in aqueous ammonia. So you have uh, AgCl and it dissolves in aqueous ammonia, which is an H3 in aqueous state. And remember, silver chloride is uh, very sol soluble in ammonia. So, so the question is asking what happens in this process. Now, uh, if you dissolve silver chloride, what's going to happen is that silver chloride is going to dissociate into its ions. So if you have AgCl, it's going to form uh, the Ag plus ion is going to dissociate. And what would happen is that uh, the ammonia molecules from the solvent, NH3 aqueous, uh, N has lone pairs. So these uh, silver ions would start forming dative bonds. They're going to start attracting these, these ammonia molecules. And dative bond formation would occur. So here's another NH3 molecule that is also trying to bond with this uh, silver ion. And uh, so uh, at the end of the day, what, what is formed is going to be a complex ion, which would be this ion over here. Uh, one silver ion bonds natively with, uh, with two NH3 molecules. And the overall complex ion will have a charge of plus one. So the first statement, ammonia forms a complex with Ag plus 1 ion, that is correct. So the first statement is correct. The other statements are not correct. Ammonia is acting as a bronsted lowry base, means that it is accepting H plus 1 ions, which it is not. Ammonia is not undergoing any change. The only thing that it's doing is that it's forming a data bond with silver. And similarly, there's no redox reaction occurring. Silver is still plus 1 and H3 is a neutral molecule. So no oxidation state uh, is uh, changing, uh, no formulas are changing, NH3 remains NH3, silver ions remain silver ions. So the next two statements are incorrect, so only option 1 is correct. Uh, so according to the marking key, this is going to be option D.